Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to book Uber Cab. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Uber app. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the rides option. So there are two ways in using Uber here. So you have rides and eats. So make sure that you're in the rides section. Now from here, for you to get started is you just need to click on the where to at the top of your screen. Now once you click on it, it's going to ask you where's your location and where you are going. So the uh, where you are the pickup location would be where you're currently located or the rider is currently located. This case maybe I want to say I'm in a current uh, location here. So let's just say I'm in this specific place here. So maybe I want to say um, this one. Currently, I'm here, and maybe I want to go to Brisbane Airport. Now, this would depend on your uh, where you're going to, but in this case, go ahead and enter just your location here. Again, the uh, the pickup location is where the location or where you're currently at. The destination is go or the bottom half of it of it is going to be your destination. Now, in this case, it's going to choose Brisbane Airport here, and maybe I want to choose Philippine Airlines here. Now in this case, uh, what we need to do is we now need to choose what type of trip trip we want to actually uh, do. Or in this case, you need to choose what is available on uh, the following options here. Now this would depend on the trip that you have. So you have the following, we have Uber Max here, we have Lime e-bikes and public transport here as well. Now in this case, in some cases, your ride might not be supported. So in some cases, some of the options or ride options will not be available to you. Now, if you want to change your current pickup point, you can go ahead and click on that specific location. So for example, I'm going to change my from a location or my pickup location here. And let me just say it is going to be a location here for Red, red Bank Plains. So let's add Brisbane here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose our location here. So this one. And as you can see, it's now changed. Now, as you can see, depending on where you're currently at and how far your current uh, destination, the options for you to uh, choose a ride will actually change. In this case, we now have Uber X, XL, Comfort Pool, and Uber Green as well. Now, depending on the type of ride that you'll be getting here, you'll be able to, uh, or you'll need to pay for that space for service. Now, for example, we have Uber X here, which is the standard one here, which is around $91 in my case. We also have Uber Pool here, which is around $88 and the cheapest one that we have right now. Now, in this case, once you've chosen the type of ride you want to do here, make sure to add a payment method. Now, at the bottom of your screen, just above the Choose Uber X section, go ahead and click on Add Payment Method. And you could either choose credit or debit card, PayPal, Google Pay, or gift card, or Uber gift card. Now, in this case, go ahead and choose that one. And each of the following payment methods here, you'll need to do something. If you sign up for credit and debit, you need to enter your card number, expiration date, CVV, the country of that card, as well as the nickname of for that specific card. Now, obviously, you won't be able to see my screen in there because in that case, it's actually a protected screen. So it actually secures your info. But yeah, once you've added your payment method, you could go and click on choose uh, choose Uber X or Uber XL here. Just, choose, just click on the bottom of your screen and you should be able to book your ride. Now, by the way, if you want to change the uh, options here, you can even change the time or basically reserve a ride for a future use or for a future ride here. In this case, go and click on the ride that has the clock on it just next to Uber X. And from here, you need to first verify yourself before you'll, you'll be able to use this one. But in this case, uh, once you verified yourself, you should be able to use the Uber uh, reserve. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.